Yo, what's up guys, I will show you every single vehicle that you can get for free in GTA 5 Online. Starting with the LG RH8, this has always been one of the best free cars in the game and also one of the best sports cars. It has a decent top speed and it's really nice to drive in. You can find this one if you go to the internet on your phone and then to the legendary motorsport website or Benny's website. I will go to Benny's. Here you will see it for a total price of zero dollars. The way you get this car is by linking your social club account to your PlayStation, Xbox or PC account. This car also has Benny's upgrades that will cost you money but it's still a cool feature for a free car. If you are a new player I definitely recommend getting this car right away. There are a bunch of muscle cars that you can get for free. Most of them can be found on the Southern San Andreas Super Autos website. It's also easier if you filter the price so choose the cheapest ones first. These are all two door vehicles and here you will see them all. So the Dukes, the Burger Shot Stallion, Redwood Gauntlet, Pisswasser Dominator and the Normal Stallion. You can also see one other free car on this site and it's the Dinka Blista Compact. It's nothing special. Out of these cars the Dominator is the best car overall. I believe it's still one of the fastest and best muscle cars in the game. The other muscle cars are average, but they are free so there's nothing to lose if you get one of these cars. There's one more free car on this website and that's the Spronk Buffalo, so Franklin's car with a cool livery. Out of all the free cars on this website, it's probably the best one overall. Moving on to a more special car is the Paragon R Armored. It can survive one explosion, it has bulletproof windows and miniguns on the front. You can unlock this one for free by completing all the casino missions for Miss Baker. So you do need to own a penthouse but you make all the money back after completing all the missions and you will get this awesome car. Now the next car is the best one in this video, at least in my opinion because there are still a couple left that are actually more useful. So this is the Virtue, it's an electric car, it drives really well and it has a great top speed. You can even equip a money tech on this car, that means that if you buy the armor upgrade it can take up to 10 homing missiles, you can put slick mines on it and some more cool money tech features. Usually this is a 3 million dollar car but you can unlock it for free if you complete all the first dose and last dose missions for Dex. Moving on to the Duco Dead. It has decent bulletproof protection and it can survive a couple explosions. Don't think you are invincible in this car though, you can easily get shot from the side. A lot of players think they can't get shot in cars with these kind of windows. You can find this car on the Warstock website, filter by the lowest price and you will see it over here. It's a good car in general and if you don't own it already definitely get your hands on it. Here you can also see another free vehicle which is the Marshall, a monster truck. The cool thing about this one is that you can choose a country and the team will change. Now I actually didn't know you could get this one for free, the Brigade 6x6. This is actually a business. You run the asset lab inside this vehicle and that's great because this way you can basically make money for free. You also have to complete all first and last those missions for Dex. So you won't only get the supercar, the virtue, but also this thing, that's pretty insane. This vehicle can also take like 50 homing missiles. To get the BF Weevil for free you have to complete all the music missions after the KO Perico heist. You will get a call from English Dave and then you can do the missions. I think it's a really cool car especially because of all the upgrades. If you have the Criminal Enterprises starter pack or if you bought GT Online recently it already comes with the game, you will also have a bunch of cars for free. Like the Turismo R, the Windsor, Coquette Classic, Banshee, a rally car on the other website and the Huntley. You can even get HSW upgrades on the Banshee. Out of these cars the Turismo and Banshee are the best. You will also get the Dune FAV for free if you have the CESP starter pack. It's a very cool car, it has a minigun for the passenger it has mines and it's great for off-road. You do have to buy those upgrades but the stock version of it is already good. We were able to buy this one on the Warstock website but a couple months ago they removed it so it's pretty rare again. To start go to the beach and make sure it's daytime. Then follow me, a normal quad bike will spawn over here. If it didn't spawn for you drive a couple streets away and come back. Get on the quad bike and then start driving past these lifeguard houses. Don't drive too fast so the lifeguard ATV has time to spawn in. I will speed this part up with without cutting it so you can see it works. So if it doesn't spawn in, drive away from the beach about one or two streets and then come back. This time it also didn't spawn in for me so it will take you a couple tries.
This time it did spawn in for me, here you can see it and it's actually a very unique vehicle. Now you can also drive it to the LS Customs. You can then upgrade everything on this ATV, so armor, brakes, engine, suspension, all of that. This is also a very interesting color, cause when you respray it, it will give you really awesome paint jobs, especially with the chameleon colors. You can even change the wheels and most importantly put loss theft prevention on this thing. That's a tracker and full coverage. The tracker is so you can see your vehicle on the map and full coverage is when your vehicle gets destroyed. I also recommend driving it in your garage so it actually saves. Next up we have the Romero hearse. In order to spawn this car you need a friend that already has the hearse. Then go to the cemetery over here on the map. It doesn't matter what time it is they will always spawn. So at the front they will spawn, here I got two, and even a third one spawned in the parking lot. You can now steal the hearse and drive it to the LS Customs. Here you can upgrade everything on this car. I find it pretty funny that you can respray it cause imagine seeing a chrome hearse. Don't forget to add lost theft prevention and drive to your garage to save it. Now I will show you how to get this amazing car. First make your way over to this location, we need to drive around this block. You can use any car but it's better if you use a high end car. It has to be between 22 and 2 pm in game time. Don't drive too fast so the car can spawn in. I still didn't get it after driving around 3 times. You can actually know if you still have a chance to spawn it in if you go to this location. If you see the pink limousine over here it can still spawn, that's a trick that I found out myself. So I will now go back and keep trying. This is actually a similar car that we are trying to find. They are both coupes so if you see this guy in the car steal it to increase the chance to spawn in the rare car. This is the car that we are looking for, the Sentinel XS. There's a purple and yellow greenish version of it. Now you can drive it to the LS Customs. From here you can put lost theft prevention on it or you can sell the car for about $17,000. When you have this car you can drive around the block again and it will spawn in very easily. So this is the yellow version. This one sells for almost $15,000. Now I will show you how to get this awesome military car. There are two options to do this. You can do this solo or have someone to help you. So somebody has to call Meriwether and then you can call mercenaries on someone. You can do this solo if you call mercenaries on another player. This can be a random player in a free mode session. Then go to the player that you sent the mercenaries to. I came up with the solo method later on. In the video you can see that someone else sent mercenaries after me. Then wait till they attack you, it takes like a minute for them to arrive. Now eliminate the Meriwether people and here you can see the car. There are actually two versions of it. This one is with a closed roof and let's see if we can also get the other version. Here's the other version with an open roof. This car is called the Kenny's Mesa. Then drive it inside the LS Customs, so it's also easier if you do this near the LS Customs. First put lost theft prevention on your car so you don't lose it, a tracker and full coverage. This is a really sick car especially if you upgrade it. And don't forget to drive it inside your garage. Lastly I wanted to show some more vehicles that are only free for some players so let me know if any of these vehicles are also free for you. The insurgent pickup is free for me. I believe you had to log in during Christmas or New Year's in like 2018. So that's the case for most of these vehicles that are free for me. The Buzzard is free for me as well as the Dodo and Kraken. The Chameleon and the Hot Knife are free for returning players. If you played on PS3 or Xbox 360 and then transferred your account to PS4 or Xbox One you would get these cars for free. The Karen S9 95 is free and the Carbon RS. Not to mention all the other vehicles that you can get for free by spinning the lucky wheels, stealing them off the street, arena war vehicles, CEO vehicles and stuff like that. Click the card on your screen if you want to see that and I will catch you in the next one. Bye bye.